I mean, I think the easiest and best answer to that question is is to have a personal connection. Um, you know, it's like it's it's not always what you know; it's who you know, and how the, 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 the saying goes. Um, if you can find a way to reach out to media through some shared connection that you have, uh, a human connection I mean, rather than a, like a cold pitch over email or something, you're, I think you're vastly uh, more likely to get you know, a good response uh, to that sort of thing. So I mean, it's work your network, you know what I mean? That's, that, that, I think that's extremely key, especially for small startups that don't necessarily have a lot of name recognition yet or something like that. You know, work with your investors or work with other startups or whatever to try to get that introduction, like that personal introduction. That's really the best way. Um, I mean, I, I don't think they need to create maybe like some sort of grand gesture, like a, you know, fireworks or you know something like that. Um, uh, really, it's just. It, it, it can be hard, I know, um, because there are so many people throwing so many ideas at, at, at journalists like myself, you know, all the time, and there's only so much bandwidth and attention that you can, you know, spread around. Um, I'm trying to think of a, of a more helpful way to answer here, maybe, but, uh, you know, it, it, what's honestly, for me, helpful is, is when companies have a really good idea of themselves uh, they can really clearly define, you know, what what their company is, what problem they're solving, uh, you know, and w why they're important right now. Um, because, and to be perfectly honest about it, it's because it makes my job a lot easier. Um, because, you know, I'm looking for good stories about, you know, smart companies that are doing something different and, and something that's, you know, uh, kind of moving the needle, um, so to speak. And so. When they can communicate that really clearly, um, even if it's just a cold pitch email, I mean, if in one sentence they can really break down what makes their company important and interesting, I mean, that's really the most important thing, I think. Honestly, you know, sometimes companies and I know this is not necessarily what companies want to hear all the time, but um, sometimes they're not really ready yet, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, there's not some big splashy thing they can do to make themselves more interesting, I don't think. I mean, what's interesting is uh, the product itself or the company itself. And sometimes, uh, and I understand why, it's because, you know, the, the media equals attention and attention can equal you know, funding and things like that. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's, you just gotta wait until you're a little further down the road until you have that product or that thing. You know, I get pitched a lot by companies that have a great idea, but there's a lot of great ideas out there. Um, you're more likely, I think, in my opinion, to be, you know, written about and, and, and talked about once you actually have that product, you know, and it's not just something you're talking about. It's not just something that's on the whiteboard behind you. It's, you know, a thing uh, that, that you can use and that's actually solving the problem. Mm -hmm.